Hi, Mrs. Brown's class. This is Miss Jervis here with your art show. Got your paintings hung up, our birch trees that we worked on in the fall, and I've got everybody in alphabetical order. <clears throat> got it listed, your initials to the side, and I'm going to just go and I'm gonna pan through everybody's art. When you find yours, pause the video and take a good look at it. Show your parents, show your friends. When we did this project back in the fall, we did it on two sheets of paper. The first sheet of paper was the background. And as you can see, some of the backgrounds are abstract. Some are the back of the backgrounds are realistic. We could do it either way. The second time we worked on this project, we did the birch trees on a separate sheet of paper with the black temper paint. And then we cut them out and we glued them on our background page. They look really nice. They were a lot of fun too. I ran out of room on my board. I had to put some on a clothesline, so that's why some of the initials were kind of coming in front of other people's. So that is our birch tree painting project that we did. Now I'd like to show you the clay owls. We worked on these one day not long ago. We took a ball of clay. I gave them a chunk of clay. And then they rolled it in a ball for me, pressed it down, it was kind of flat, and took a rolling pin and rolled out a slab of clay. We put two paint sticks, the big thick paint sticks, on either side and rolled the clay in between. We folded the top over to make the head. And then we went for it. We used all different kinds of tools. We pressed some indentions in the clay. We drew some um, texture in the clay. They added on a beak. Some added on feet. Some added on ears. Some just pinched the ears. But if they added anything on, they had to score and slip. Ask your students what score and ask your children what score and slip is. If they don't remember, scoring and slipping is when you scratch the clay and make it rough, and then you put a wee bit of water on, acts kind of like a glue, and press it on till it connects to the body of the owl. So just one more pan through. I hope I stopped on everybody's equal amount of time. And I hope you enjoyed Mrs. Brown's Art Show 2020. See you guys. Miss you. Praying for you. Bye-bye.